Hey, are you looking for ideas to build your next mini electronics project? Then this video is for you. We have 10 projects which we have built over the past year and you're going to select the favorite one of yours and you can build it on your own. So without wasting any time, let's roll the intro. Starting at number 10, it is a smart electronic candle which will automatically turn on when it is dark and turn off when it is bright again. Not only it looks cool but it is also easy to build with just an op amp, few LEDs and an LDR sensor. We have built this on a perf board but you can also do it on a breadboard. So all the projects shown in this video has a very good documentation on our website with proper circuit diagram, images and everything. You can just click on the links given in the description to access that. Coming on at number 9 is a fridge door alarm circuit. This is a very simple yet useful circuit. When you open the fridge, it automatically starts a timer and if you don't close it soon, it will give you an alarm saying that you are wasting energy by keeping your fridge door open. It is also easy to build with just two triple five timers, a buzzer and a 9 volt battery. Moving on at number 8, we have the electronic door lock circuit. The circuit has some push buttons and you have to press them in the right sequence to turn on something. In this case, an LED. And the beauty of this project is it can be built simply on a breadboard with few push buttons, a triple five timer and few connecting wires. Moving on at number 7 on our list, we have the clap switch circuit. Yes, when you clap, this circuit turns on an LED and it is very very easy to build. You can build it on a breadboard with just a condenser microphone, a triple five timer, a BC547 transistor and an LED. The next one on our list at number 6 is the legendary fire alarm project. So when this circuit detects a fire, it does this. Yes, this can also be built on a breadboard with just a triple five timer, a thermistor as your main sensor, a BC547 transistor and a buzzer. Coming on at number five on our list is the battery level indicator circuit. So this circuit has a bunch of LEDs and based on the capacity of the battery, these LEDs will turn on. The main IC behind this project is the LM324 op amp and you just need a few more resistors to make this circuit work. Okay, we are halfway through and coming on at number 4, we have a solar powered mobile phone charger. So this charger here can charge your phone directly from sun with up to a charging current of 750 milliamps. Now the best thing is you only need 4 components, 3 solar panels and one 5 volt boost module which will provide 5 volts for your phone to get charged. Coming on at number 3 is a musical doorbell circuit and it does this. The circuit is based upon the UEM66 musical tone IC. It is powered with a 3 volt battery and when a push button is pressed, it plays a melody on this 8 ohm speaker. Coming on at number 2 is a foam cutting machine which can be used to cut foam or thermocol in required sizes and shapes. It works by pushing a large amount of current into a nichrome wire using a lithium polymer battery. This current is controlled by a MOSFET with a potentiometer. This circuit does not involve any complicated ICs, it is easy to build and fun to use. Finally, coming on at number 1, we have the wireless power transmission circuit. Now it might sound very complicated but it is really easy to build. All you need is a two pair of copper enameled wires acting as transmitter and receiver and you can build this circuit easily with an LED and a BC547 transistor. It takes very less time to build and the working looks really cool to demonstrate. With that, we have come to a conclusion of this video. If you have any questions, of course, you can put it in the comment section below and I will take a look at it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Have a good day. This is Ashwin signing off. Bye-bye.